Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, Living in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in RVA. I'm really excited to share this video with you all today because the footage we have is killer. In this video, I'm going to show you some of Sarah and I's favorite places with the absolute best outdoor dining. Be sure to stay to the end to see which restaurant tops the list. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. I'm Taylor Jefferson, and my wife Sarah and I own and operate Jefferson Grove Real Estate. We've helped tons of families relocate to Richmond. And if you're thinking about doing the same, be sure to download our free Richmond Relocation Guide. It's full of useful information all about Richmond and the surrounding areas. The link's in the comments below and on our banner image. If you haven't done so already, you have to subscribe to our channel, because every week we'll be posting new videos all about living in Richmond, including more best restaurants, neighborhood tours, family-friendly activities to do, and more. Now with all that being said, let's dive into today's video. There are so many phenomenal restaurants here in Richmond. Truly, RVA is now on the map because of its food and craft beer scene. And while there are plenty of really awesome independently owned restaurants, the focus today will be on those with great outdoor dining. Now, there are a lot here in Richmond that offer outdoor seating, but I'm trying to exclude the ones that put you on the sidewalk or where your view is a busy street or a parking lot. So our first pick takes us to the downtown area in Richmond known as Rockets Landing. Rockets Landing is a really nice condo slash brownstone community located right on the edge of the James River. There's so much to love about this location. We'll definitely be doing an upcoming video about Rockets Landing, so be sure to subscribe. But what brings us here today is the Boathouse at Rockets Landing. Sitting right off of East Main Street, just outside of downtown Richmond, it offers killer views of the city's skyline and the James River. Not surprising given its name, the Boathouse is a seafood restaurant, but it does offer some non-seafood options as well. The food is great and so are the drinks, many of which can be ordered in a half carafe for sharing. This is a great spot for a date night or just a quick drink during happy hour. There are multiple terraces, some of which are reserved for private events, but no matter which terrace you end up on, the views do not disappoint. Fortunately, the food is just as good too, so you won't be disappointed in that regard either. While we are near Richmond City, we want to give an honorable mention to this next outdoor venue. So just a little further northwest, more into the downtown area of Richmond, is the Quirk Hotel. Located at the intersection of Broad and Jefferson Street, this place has become quite the destination here in RVA. And while this hotel does have a restaurant uninventively called The Lobby Bar, I specifically want to talk about The Rooftop Bar. This spot has the best views of all the outdoor venues we will mention in this video. When I was getting the drone video, I couldn't stop thinking about how pretty the footage was. Just take a look. I mean, right? Seriously, you have to see this place for yourself in person. The reason this is only an honorable mention is because you can't call The Rooftop Bar a restaurant. They offer what they call elevated street fare, which essentially means it's overpriced limited appetizers. Honestly though, just come up here to the rooftop for a quick pre-dinner drink and then head downstairs or elsewhere for dinner. You'll get the best of both worlds, right? The rooftop is 21 plus only, and it is weather dependent, so if rain's on the forecast, skip this one. Also, it's very popular, so get here early if you want to get a seat. Next up, we're going polar opposite of where we just were. We will be on the ground, and we're going to be going way more country, but I promise you'll love the vibes. We're headed west to the eastern side of Goochland County, which is one of our favorite locations because you get a more rural feel, yet you're still really convenient to all that Short Pump has to offer. This is Lola's Farmhouse Bistro, and it's located on Mannequin Road right off Broad Street, just a little west of Highway 288. Unlike the last place, this is a true dining experience, and Lola's offers brunch, lunch, and dinner with a great menu with options that everyone will enjoy. What we love here is the beautiful setting. Whether you're sitting on the country front porch or dining on the patio, you feel like you've taken a step back in time, especially with the actual farmhouse on the property, which does offer indoor dining as well. Seriously, the vibe here is relaxed, and it could easily be one of our favorite outdoor dining options, especially since Lola's is super close to where our new house is being built. But we are trying to take our location bias out of the equation, and ultimately there's another restaurant we like better, but Lola's was a super close second. Definitely add this to your list, but be sure to check their hours of operation before you impulsively come visit. They aren't open on Mondays or Tuesdays, and they close midday on Sunday after brunch before reopening for dinner. Before we get to our favorite, we're going to head to another really beautiful setting, and this time again there are water views. This is the Boathouse at Sunday Park, and yes, it is the same boathouse as before, but this is another one of their locations. This one is in Midlothian, just south of the Brander Mill neighborhood, right off of Mill Ridge Parkway. There's a third boathouse in Short Pump, but it doesn't really have any outdoor dining to speak of, so it did not make the list. The Sunday Park location has a beautiful nature setting with great views of the Swift Creek Reservoir. I love sitting on the outdoor deck, and it's really nice. The sunsets here are also lovely. The same menu is available here as it is at Rockets Landing. Only difference is the view. Judging purely by the view, I enjoy the downtown location more. 
But if you live in one of the more southwest areas around Richmond, like Chesterfield, Mosley, or Midlothian, this is the boathouse location you'll want to visit for sure. All right, so now we've made it to our favorite outdoor dining restaurant. Did we make this video just for an excuse to go eat there? Maybe. Are we mad about it? No. This is Portico, which is located right off River Road, right on the border of Goochland County and Henrico County. So this is a really convenient spot for anyone living in the West End and the Eastern Goochland area. But even if you live further away, it's still worth the drive. This is an upscale Italian restaurant, but don't worry, they'll have something for you even if you don't like pizza or pasta, including some steak, chicken, and seafood entrees. What we love is the ambiance with the stone terrace and the floral garden surrounding the outdoor dining area. Food is outstanding, but it's really the one-two punch of great food and beautiful atmosphere that make this one of our favorite restaurants in Richmond, and why it tops our list for best outdoor dining. They book up fast, so be sure to get a reservation if you want to eat here. Was there one that stood out to you? Leave me a comment, let me know. Be sure to subscribe to our channel because we'll continue to do videos like this one and more all about living in RVA. If you're thinking about moving to Richmond, be sure to hit us up. We can help make your move stress-free and easy. Thanks for being here with me today, and I'll see you next time.